Is that recording? Yeah, that's recording. When you see the red, it's recording. Okay. All right, so let's call the public safety, East Hampton Public Safety Meeting to order. It is February 12th. It is 7.35. Um, all right, first item, public speak time. Seeing so no one here from the public. We have no public speak. And uh, Joy's absence. We hope she feels better. So, but this, what was that? Uh, discussion on the draft street acceptance protocol. Mm -hmm. So, what I have here is this is what we went through with the planning department. Mm -hmm. So, we have a couple of questions that need to go to the city solicitor. Like, is a copy of the mm -hmm. ad okay for mm -hmm. that kind of stuff? So, I was going to move forward with that and, you know, put, I was going to make these adjustments that we put together with the planning department when we met with them and then send it over to the attorney. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to sending it to the attorney, I was going to send a copy to the planning department and to the DPW. And I think at this point we should also fold in um, the Conservation Commission okay. because we would want to talk about um, a certificate of compliance okay. from them. No, no, you invited comments already from all these boards, correct? Only the first three that I okay, mentioned. Not, not conservation. Not conservation. Okay. So that, that would be, be your the first, first, because the others, I mean, yep. I would send it to them saying this is the, other than the city solicitor, obviously, we've got to get his opinion. Yeah. The other two. Are, Public person planning said this is what we've come up with, and unless you had that was the feedback they gave him from you, the media. You had opportunity to change it, you know, and, and, uh, and then the conservation again, if they didn't be their first thing, compliance, right? That's right, because right, we have them in here a couple of times because it's, it's going to trigger right. that. So mm -hmm. I wanted to give them kind of a heads up. Um, and then, you know, the other certificates of compliance, or at least like having people sign off it, are the fire department and the police department. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to wait until the end because there's no reason to have them. Right, they would have limited. They don't have input in the language of the street acceptance. We just want them to, you know, be part of the process when it does go to be okay. Those would just be part of the process so that they take a ride down the police say before. Yep. Like we found that. Thing at the end of one of the street Twitters, all I mean, they would hopefully see yeah. if we had missed it, they would see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, that was what I wanted to ask you is like, I think it's the right time to talk oh, to the Conservation absolutely. Committee yeah. about it because they have a couple of different things to look at. Right. Like, we, we do want them to sign off, but there are things that, you know, as far as the deed goes and signing it off to them, that I want their input on in case okay. we screwed it up. Everybody wants a flow chart, man. Everybody. Oh, you know, I know. I will make one. It's okay. So I took the liberty of finding some copies of some other certificates of compliance okay. because I don't think it's fair for us to say, "Hey, make up a certificate of yeah. compliance." You know, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to give burden somebody burden burden the board. Yeah. So. Um, I thought maybe we could just like check off the bits that we think would be relative, uh, mm -hmm. relative for. Um, speci I'm thinking specifically the police department, the fire department, yeah. because I think the conservation committee kind of has something. They probably in, have a, They have something some type in of place. A procedure that they probably a, think of compliance anyway. I would assume. Right. Because if you go and get a, um, say you want to do anything near a waterway on the even if it's mm -hmm. a tree, you're supposed to get something from them, and I think they write you out a letter of right. or something, or uh, some type of certificate that they have to sign off for that you did the work and they come out and inspect it. Yeah, <coughs> that's what I was thinking. So this. So this one's a building. This yeah, one's that one's a building. This one's a. This one I found for fire. This is the. So this would be something very much new and would happen. Yeah. The board of health will 
have too much to do with this. No, no, no. The, no. This is, I, I just. No, no, I realize that. No, I realize you're, you were just getting the forms, but I, I was trying to think from our process. Yeah. We've never really talked about the Board of Health, and I'm trying to think if there would be any reason they would need to be involved. I don't think so. It would be more water issues of runoff, which would go into conservation. DPW. And then public safety, which is, right. you know, just to make sure everything's safe. Mm hmm and that they're in the right spot. So, um, what we're looking for is basically the question would be, I, I think it's going to end up being something kind of like this, mm -hmm. where it's like the subject, which would... To the sample of compliance letter. So it, it would be a recommendation for acceptance from the police and fire, right? Mm -hmm. and, PD. Okay. and then the person would just put in the. Yeah, the so we, but we don't need that. We, you know, to be agile. Uh, yep. The best of my knowledge, the design, construction, and operation of the fire protection system. So, so we do that. Because um, we basically just have to have the language for that little statement. Yeah, I think that's fine. Very simple. It's just basically they go out, look at it, see right. if there's anything that doesn't meet their fire codes or everything. I, mean, I don't know all the yeah. fire regulations. Like when you do a plan of development, I'm assuming they would have. And you to should never assume them, but right. I'm assuming you have to have fire hydrants probably so far apart. Or, I mean, yeah. No, no more than this. I have no idea. No mm -hmm. more than 150 feet. Well, and I know there's some intersections where people are like we need a stop Completely. sign or we don't have a stop is sign a or why sign? don't is we? You sign? know what? You should really have a crosswalk here. Right. You know, like just to have right. them take a look yeah, at it okay. in case there's something glaring like that, you know, or you know, yeah. it's you, like. Yeah. I mean, you would think by the time it got to this, it everything be. would have been looked at, but it's just, if we're going to take responsibility, thing. might as well double check it. Yep. Um, these are the older, okay, so I will have that for our next meeting because we don't have to submit that, so I can mock something up. Sure. And then. Yeah. yeah, I was just looking at like the different language. I mean, you know? you know, whichever one you think would work better. Well, it's, it's not really like because it's, it's not like some of these are designed like I'm wondering if certificate of compliance is too too, too fee, rigid or something too too fee of a language because yeah, right. that almost sounds like okay I we do one of the mills or something and I want the fire department to give it's it it's almost like a, like a certificate of occupancy yeah. right. it might be going beyond the that's what maybe I, we want to come up with a different name for it like, Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. I, you, you come up with something that's kind of. But, I mean, that was just something in the research of it because. Right. I mean, I think it's a good idea. They expect it. Yeah. Maybe you can call it just an inspection. Uh, final uh, fire and fi final public safety inspection or something. Just have a sign off. Yep, it. I like that. You know, final public safety inspection just so that the police and fire. You, know, you can do the same form and have the police check in the fire check that they they found no public safety issue. Yeah, and, but I, I do think we, we need a compliance letter for the conservation. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. You know, especially if it's anywhere near any type. Of yeah. Thing. Anywhere with mm -hmm. conservation because you've got runoff and yeah. storm yeah. water and all that stuff because that's coming down there. And I know some of that's the engineering department. A lot of our subdivision, you know, the trouble with East Hampton, if we, if you know, you know, because you went to that. Uh, Lower Mill Pond, you know, the whole city's yeah. really built on a, a bunch of rivers that are underground. It's crazy. So no matter where you, almost right. no matter where you put a street at East End, there's going to be water running on it or no, under it's it. <laughs> but we did just win that water award. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> yes, tasting water. In the I think South Hampton won that a couple of years ago, so it yeah. must all be that same aquifer. Right. Really so it's my friend That's Michael. Why brewery, Michael's birthday, brewery. so me and my friend Brian we poured him a glass of water. I'm like, we got you the best, the best tasting water, water in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was not impressed by that. <laughs> 
We thought it was funny. I think that would be suitable for a Valentine's gift. Or yeah, a, I think that would work. Yeah, it would be worth it's it. Like, oh, I got you a bottle of the yeah. best tasting yeah. water in the nation. Right. How much more can I do for you? Right. You're going to be in trouble. Um, these were just emails from, you know, this is from Joe Pip mm -hmm. and the, um, the lawyer and then from Jessica. So, and it's funny because I talked to somebody else on the planning board because I was like, weren't you guys going to, you would answer some questions at the planning board and you were going to get back to us. And he's like, yeah, that's what I thought. And I'm like, no, I just got told that that's not, so. I was waiting for them, and they were waiting for you. Um, let's see. So I think I think that's it okay. for right. street acceptance, just mm -hmm. to like get the ball get the rolling ball, right. again. Yeah. And so we'll. You Hopefully, we we'll get out of it. Absolutely. So I'll make the. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll probably have time Monday to um, make those edits and then I'll just get a copy to you enjoy mm -hmm. and if you think it's okay to send mm -hmm. just say it's okay yeah, and yeah. if you I want to talk about it just say let's have a meeting right, right, right. okay because I think we can do that without right if it's just a matter of saying this yeah. form is fine it's tough with a long document that's right. so collaborative yeah. that every time I have to do it. Can you a short meeting? Well, I, I have no problem like you could have a meeting after the, I don't know about Joy, but you know, like even if it's a posted 15 minutes after the, okay. you know, after a city council meeting, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll, we'll yeah. Do that next year. I mean, she does We it tried. Before. Yeah, she does. I mean, she does it before. I mean, I yeah. don't understand, because that's a convenient time everyone has to be on anyway. If it's just a matter right. of like a document and you want to have a couple of edits and mm -hmm. discuss it for a few minutes as opposed to, you know, I mean, obviously, if you have a long meeting, you've got to kind of set up. Yeah. No, there's been a couple of these that have just been monsters where it's like, we have to do this. And I'm sorry for pushing this one back, too. So I think that puts street acceptance unless you have anything. Nope, no, okay. So can we move over to Paul Street Extension? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a little bit lost. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fib because we all went and looked at it. Right. It didn't look even remotely close to done. Right. It looked like there was still like a fi we needed final grade and there was still doing a lot of building right. going on. There, there was, was that, that one little street layup. Wackadoodle <laughs> street layup. And, uh, and so I made some questions and then this was the response I got from Jim Gracia. Because I haven't been by there for a while. I don't know when the snow how much. You know, I drove through it again it, after that to be like am I just not hearing it the way I did. And what's funny is that um, Amanda, the attorney, hasn't gotten in touch with me. She made the request. Is she, is she the attorney for Paul Street also? Because uh, she was uh, the one on... Yeah. Paul Street, Jill on the States. Because okay. she was also doing the ones on... Right. Uh, right. And she's usually like, hey, what's up with that? So weren't they supposed to get back? Which they've never on the Kingsbury, which was the first one that they filed. Remember, and then they, they and they haven't refiled that one yet. I was mostly doing the training for some of the same reason. We did put that in right about the boundary thing. Sorry. Jim saying he was be uh, before I request that I, I wanted to make yeah, sure he that didn't didn't agree to the request. I know we talked about right, that, and I tried to explain to him like, yeah, right. he he's, he wants it. I put it in there. We'll see what happens. Um, we can't make this extension conform to anything we have in here because we haven't like approved it. No, the other no right, right, right. Been. No, we can't. You know, yeah. we got to kind of go by what the one page thing that right. we have. Exactly. So have you been out there at night with the streetlight? It, it's not on. It's, it's not on. Uh, so, but he's saying maybe it's not on because Western Mass has turned on. There's no benefit of electricity. If I'm reading right, and he's saying the mayor might pay for it after it's accepted, but 
it's a, it's a very circular thought, correct? Yes. So I think that's what happens is I keep going to it and I'm like, oh right, I should, but there's nobody to really, and it, it hasn't resolved itself. So. It just doesn't seem like this street is anywhere close is to being done. In, in fairness, I haven't been out there in a while, but the last time I went, which was probably right, maybe just before our last meeting, it didn't yeah. look looked like there was a lot of there's a lot of building materials and you know, like uh, lots and as you said, combs. And <clears throat> I mean, there's still a lot of construction going. Right. So I guess where do we go from here? <laughs> this is my question. <laughs> <laughs> and because Amanda hasn't gotten in touch, because it was, you know, Christmas and then right. there was a snow, that I haven't, yeah. I'm not sure what the next step is. I guess. It doesn't make sense to me, personally, to chase down this whole street lamp thing if the whole entire thing is not is, even going to be, right. you know, because then it, it appears like, oh, if you fit fix the street lamp, it'll be okay. I yeah. don't feel like we're there yet. No. Under, I don't feel like we can do a street acceptance on this until the snow's gone. Right. Yes, because now we don't know I, who knows what's under it. And we didn't like the way it looked beforehand. Right. So, I mean, do we say, you know what, we can't do a street acceptance until we can actually see the road? Like, do we have to put this off till April or something? We may, you know, until the snow. I mean, this is, again, I don't know. I mean, I'll, between now and Wednesday, I'll take a ride up there, but I don't see how you're going to see anything. Um, really, I mean, other you've got the houses that are built. I don't know, maybe if he's built the house, yeah. that light that lot might be clear, but all the other stuff is if you, there's still empty lots, so you've got to know what's under there. There could be a ton of, or what the street looks like on the side, right. or the curbing. Or, right. I think what happened with a lot of these is they know that in technically the street shouldn't be being plowed. You know, that's the city front, but I think that's why they started the process. And, you know, once they start the process, I think they feel what they're going to process. So, you know, you know, right. Yeah. So at the next city council meeting, should I say that we'd like to put this? Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think you know maybe what you would want to do between now and Wednesday, you know, it's up to you. you know, is maybe give Jim Grayson just a call or an email, say, Jim, you know, we're still. Not sure on Paul Street, not just the light, but before we give it a final approval, we'd like to see it. You know, do you you know, yeah. do you think we should wait till the snow the melts spring. so that we can get a final look at it before we go forward? And if there's any other things, and I'm sure he's, there were a lot of things. And I'm sure he's going to come back, Jen, and say yes. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> then you go to tell somebody and say, you know, right. the engineer, he says, we did that. We should put this off. Yeah, because there were some of these curb cuts because all the. Like there's no house there. Like that one was being built, and right. I mean, it's still kind of a construction zone. Yeah, there was a lot of construction. That's what <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> it just seems. I mean, like I, could, I understand that. Of course, I don't understand giving them back their lots. I mean, I can see giving them back as they like maybe keep they give them another one. I mean, I don't know how many they they keep saying the remaining release the remaining the lots. I mean, why would you release? I mean, if you're the planning board, why would you release all the lots? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many lots they they held. You know what I'm saying? Say they were holding three lots to make sure he complied. Why wouldn't you? Well, so this is the open space. Why wouldn't which you release a couple beautiful. of them? Yeah, because this comes in. These are the trails over here. These are the condos, right? Yeah. And the lights are right about here. Is that what the light was? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he hasn't even done a formal inspection as to being it ready for acceptance. No. no it hasn't no. happened. Right. So I wanted to wait for your committee to finalize the guidelines and the procedure. Well. And I, I think we're going to tell them we're still on the They've guideline. already made the request, so. Right. I think, mm -hmm. you know, I think we got to kind of go with what it was. I mean, I think we can make suggestions to them. If, 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 if I think that would be my attorney Kemp seems to be in the, my dealings with her. She seems to be a reasonable person, I think. But, you know, unless we can all of something out of English. We'll do it. Um, right. But I, again, I don't see how Jim's going to get out there or us and yeah. actually take a. I mean, I would feel very uncomfortable trying to 
say anything definitive right now with oh. four feet of snow. <laughs> Again, I haven't been up there, but I'm okay. sure it's so like that every makes other sense street. to me now because I've kind of I'm been sure like, it's like every other every street. time I run through it, yeah. as far as this being an open loop of what we're working yeah. on. Because I was very concerned with it. I, I know it's not part of the street, but was it on the right way to give the whole lot? Like it was like their work site, like it was all the equipment, and, and it just didn't. And it was kind of a house, and then yes. it, uh, directly across the street yeah. were like cones, like yes, kids like running in the road, like you know. yeah. So, so I mean, I guess I'd like to be sure we're before we take it over. I mean, right. So I have no problem. You know, as I said, I just probably, if I were you, I would just probably check in with them and say, do, do you feel? Okay, so send an email to Jim and say, listen, we, right. you haven't, right. you haven't probably, done a final you know, we're still inspection. Working on our Nobody right. can do a final inspection right. until the snow is gone. Right. So we're just going right. to, we're, we're just going to put this off. Guidelines together, but really, in fairness to them, we probably have to go by what the old guidelines were. Yeah. When do you think the snow will be gone? <laughs> like I kind of want to say May first. <laughs> is April? The truth is that is realistic? Yeah, I think it's realistic. You know, you, yeah. as, as cold as it gets, you know, right. you know, three weeks it'll be. They were showing us it. Uh, I think he had a good news page from like a couple of years ago in oh, March. Yeah. The first week of March, they showed the big, the big news with 80 degrees. Under, you know, <laughs> so, you know, it, it can change in hurry. True enough. I just like to see 34, 35. <laughs> no. I know. Tomorrow is looking at the temperature. It's like, what's tomorrow going to be? It's like, one. One, one what? One? One. Tomorrow's one. Okay. So I think, uh, you know, we should get just get, or, you know, we could. I have no problem. You, if you don't want to talk to Jim Gray, you just say, you know, we're not. We're going to put it off till you know. We can take it off the agenda without. No, no, no. I'll, I'll run it by Jim and just let him know that that's right. what we want to do. Like and to before I start trying to chase down right. a street light, right. we uh, let's actually look at the road itself. Right. And then depending. Has anyone talked to the mayor about that street light or not really? I didn't because that seemed minor. No, no, I, no it's a, this, this, this minor. No, I don't. It seemed minor in comparison to the fact that the road didn't seem quite done. But you I know. Guess, I guess what? Again, I, I'm baffled at how the our plane or I think this new plane. I, I think since uh, uh, Jess Allen's there, I think it's a little different. But who came up with that streetway? The no, planning board required no, one to. <laughs> I'm not saying I can see maybe they wanted the street light at the cul-de-sac. Well, it's almost like, all right, I'll I'm put the street saying, light but, in, but, but I'm not put, turning it on. Who put like, that? I mean, that looks like something you could almost put in a home. I mean, like if you had a it's big It's not enough, really a street light. Yeah, is it's it? more like a, a, you know, somebody that would put a lamp in their yard that had a big house. I mean, I know it's a little bigger than a residential, but it's certainly it's not. It's funny. A, I can't remember what it looks like, but I just yeah, remember it, was like it a, being, like a it was just like very, it was like very, a colonial. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is a colonial. Just a little Four bit. Four pane. Yes. Just a little bit bigger than somebody might yeah, put at the. Yeah, yeah. At their driveway to light up their front walk. It's just. No, anyway, it doesn't sound like the planning board I mean, like went were, and looked because right. the planning board was like, "Yeah, upon review of the special permit approval and the approval for Julian Estates, blah blah, blah mm -hmm. um, the conditions listed in these decisions were met to their satisfaction." So that's the special permit decision, and the definitive subdivision approval it has nothing to do with this street. I thought yeah. they would put something in general, you know, like if, if they wanted to decorate it, which is nicer than just a straight street, like put in something like on Pleasant Street, you know, that would just want yeah. you know, those black ones, but one that hangs, a little something that looks a little more like a real street. Something light. looks really weird about that street light, which yeah, is so why we were like, what's up with the street light? And it's like, planning board made us do it. It's like, okay, so did they give you specs? This, <laughs> this can't possibly. <laughs> Meet any night, but. But it seems like after driving through there that the street light was the, was the least of what was going on at that right. point. Right, I mean, they're just... And I didn't want to start the ball rolling about the mayor turning it on right. and paying for it before we did the right. street acceptance. So... No, no, I think that should be the last, last thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's been... A, I feel bad about the length of the request, but it just, um, it just wasn't ready. Really, just was not ready. So, I'm sure he's in no hurry now anyway because now that they gave him the last back and the city's still growing, right? I'm sure he's not. Uh, I, mean, I think that's the whole reason they don't have a bed now because they're afraid that we'll actually come up with this where they have to pay the $125 a horse. Right. <coughs> yeah, it's just a little
Okay. So I will send that email off, and then when Jim's on board with us deciding to push it off until the snow's gone. Yeah, I mean, this is an extraordinary amount of snow. I mean, it's not like, you know, we've only had like a few inches right. where you still couldn't, right. you could see the equipment. There's got to be stuff buried under that. I mean, you could bury a sawhorse under the snow. I mean, I know I my know. yard, you know, it's deep. You know? Yeah. Well, and also, like, I mean, if it wasn't done, if there's going to be all this damage from the snow, we don't want to accept it and right. it's totally damaged. Right, who knows what they're going to fall and they're going to take them up curbing or something. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, I just want to make sure I wasn't kooky on that one. I'm like, no, because as I said, I know it's been a while. And I know the, the, when I went through there, as I said, I knew, it, I mean, the street is going to look good, but it didn't have you know, the finish, which I understand maybe at the end you put the finish coat on the road after right. all your construction, but it still just didn't look, it still looked like... There's half, a lot of construction going like on. Like half the street was undeveloped and under construction. <laughs> right, that's what and I felt. Lumber and, you know, I don't have a house built myself. Right. Yeah. But I will definitely take a, a ride down there too, so before... Okay. Before one is next step, I have to add anything to the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jim. Is that anything else? No, they'll do it. Would you like to make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Okay. All those that were alive. <laughs>